Our next question comes from Mike. Google CEO calls AI the most important discovery since fire and electricity. I believe all stakeholders need to use it to monitor it and re-regulate it as needed. Do you agree? Yes. So it's a story, I think it's in the New York Times, might have been the post, about the expert in AI who just left, like yesterday, the day before. Uh, he worked on it for 25 years, he's one of the leaders, and um, he's discouraged about where it's going. Because a lot of people are telling us it's a real threat to democracy, it's going to be hard to regulate it. Uh, this has happened with technology in general. Uh, people are using all that wonderful stuff we've learned about neuroscience um, to make money, in my view. A lot of good writing on this. A couple of recent books, The Chaos Machine, really good on this. Um, Dopamine Nation by a Stanford researcher. And Who's Minding Our Kid by a Harvard researcher. Uh, so people are using what we're learning about the brain and technology, and most of it's wonderful, but this is the history of this country and most countries is you've got to figure out what the ground rules are. Uh, on environmental issues and chemicals, uh, the Europeans have the precautionary principle, we decided the opposite. So in that instance, you have to demonstrate that you're not going to hurt the environment. We, we come in the back end, and this is, goes back to what's called caveat emptor, which is Latin for buy everywhere. The founders needed to have a really, they thought they needed to get people to come here and make it easy for people to start businesses. We've never really gone back and looked at that. Um, so with AI, it's the same thing. And this is just what I just read about his resignation, resignation from Google, is that he's discouraged that Google is not being socially responsible enough. And this is the top person at Google on AI and one of the top people in the world. So you're absolutely right, we're being told this in Congress over and over again. You need to start getting caught up about artificial intelligence and its benefits and its downsides and where you have to regulate it um, and still have it be stimulated so that it can provide the benefits. Um, you know, all of us use GPS now. It's wonderful. It helps with congestion, um, helps with traffic. Um, if you're using it properly. So all of those things, I'm not saying AI is bad, but with all of these transformative things, we as a culture have to have a discussion about and understand what's good and what's bad about it, just and, and, and make laws and ground rules so that uh, it works for everybody as best as possible. So AI is very, um, it's going to be a challenge, and it's frightening when you read about how, like in this instance, he's afraid of how this is going to be used. They talked about in this article about how he's much like um, the folks who work on the Adam Ball, where, you know, I worked on this, I thought it would be good for the country and good for people if we could get it right and right, but then I'm afraid I've created something that's going to hurt a lot of people. So it's a challenge. 